This is a camera for sticking into your holes. All right, coming in from Amazon is something that I happen to pick up uh, on the Black Friday deals. It's reduced from £28 down to £22.39. And, and I figured that I, I do have need of these. Maybe if I only use it once, uh, that'll be money well spent if it manages to sort out some of the problems that we may have with plumbing and things. This is the Depth Depth Stack. This is a camera, um, and it's one of those uh, little uh, wireless boroscope upgraded HD 2.0 MP Wi-Fi endoscope with rechargeable inspection camera. It is a rechargeable inspection camera. Uh, it's not one with the screen equipped. You have to use your phone, uh, which brings the price down greatly. Uh, I've always wanted one of these just to, just to be able to stick it down holes and have a look. Um, get your mind out of the gutter. Uh, because that's where I plan to put this, in the gutter. So this is, uh, well, there's a website here. It's IP67, waterproof standard, adjustable LEDs, night vision. It always intrigues me that they sort of print this sort of thing on the inside. It's not like you're going to go into Curry's and go, oh, what's this? Uh, you get, you buy it from Amazon, and it advertises the features that you already know that it's got, because you've made that, uh, that assertion whenever you've been uh, perusing and buying. Although in this case, because it was a Black Friday deal, there wasn't too much in the way of um, options. So I decided to just grab the cheapest one that they had, which was on the Black Friday deal. Okay, so uh, you can expand, extend your regular 12-month warranty to 24 months to, if you join their uh, premium user program. And there's stuff there to be able to do that. Uh, we have a Hello start guide to how to set up. That'll probably be coming useful. And then an operation guidance, which might be a quick start guide. Uh, pretty handy to have. If you lose one, you've got the other. So what we get is, straight up, we get a USB to micro USB. Um, obviously, this is... <laughs> <laughs> rechargeable by my micro USB. Some people will slate it, but I imagine it's tried and tested tech, but it's been out there for a while. Uh, we have some bits. We have a SIM card ejector tool. We have a magnet. Oops, like a magnet. There we go. I can't get it back in. Uh, we have a hook for whenever you drop a key down, or perhaps your SIM card ejector tool. And finally we have a periscopy type thing, so we can look down here and see what's up there. And that appears to have a little bit of blue film on it to protect it, uh, because it's in here with a hook. Simple. Okay, fair enough. Nice to have some extras, and in a little plastic case so you don't lose them instantly, which is entirely likely given me. And they do all fit back in quite easily. Okay, so here we have the camera itself. You can see there is the end of the camera. Um, there's LEDs around there, and it's quite small. It looks to be just over maybe three quarters of a centimeter says in the specs that this is 8.5 millimeters uh, and the distance it can travel without obstacles is 33 feet um, so I, I don't know that I want to uncoil the entire cable but uh, yes I guess depending on where you put it you might want to take these velcro strips off which seems to be easy to do yes it is quite easy to do because they'll get a bit manky if you were to shove it down your toilet or in your ear, which I don't recommend anyone does at any point in their lives. Okay, so we have a bit of protective plastic around here. This appears to be the, the brains of the unit, uh, which is branded. It's got a Wi-Fi button here, or a Wi-Fi indicator here, and there's another uh, LED there. 
and there's an on off button there there seems to be some kind of ruler dial and uh, maybe that's for focus I don't quite know I don't know if this fix focus or not but uh, yeah we'll we'll get it hooked up to the phone and see how we go so according to the operation guide we need to download and install the app so we have to go to Android's Play Store and there's the app there um, it's got four four stars, 649 reviews, which is a bit low, um, and uh, 50k of installs, and three stars, three stars, one star will not connect to camera despite following instructions, including Wi-Fi setup reset. Okay, so we'll work out whether or not Jeff is just having a bad day. Uh, Wi-Fi and USB connection availability. USB. So you can hook it in over that micro USB, so that's a charger and a, a data connection as well, so oh, that's handy. Um, convenient tools to make work simpler, uh, video and photography functions are easy to use, and a library management. Okay, fair enough. Alright. Okay, okay, so I'll go straight to landscape. So we have to allow it to take pictures and stuff like that. So allow, allow, and so please select your connection. We're going to go with Wi-Fi straight up. I imagine USB just works by plugging it in. But if we have a problem with Wi-Fi, we'll move to USB. Device disconnected. Please connect your device successfully. Okay. Firstly, turn on the endoscope by pushing the on button. Uh, oh, right, okay, so we have to connect in ad hoc mode. There we find it. Flashing, connect, enter password. And we're waiting for connection. So, connect it without internet, which means we're not going to have any internet on the phone because my 4G signal here is crap. Okay, aha! Uh -huh. So we've got a an upside down camera view, and we can we can rotate it. Uh, the we'll take some pictures just to show the quality in ideal light. Oh, oops! So we've taken a, a, a still shot of Ash there, and we'll take a video as well, just in ideal light. So that we're recording. It's, says it's an R in already. We'll zoom down to some of the skeletons and across onto the colors over here. And it's able to pick out quite a bit of detail. There's a bit of lag. A little bit of lag, yeah. And a bit of a smeary video, but we'll have a look at that and see how that goes. What did you think of that? Uh, what settings do we have? We have 1920 by 1080 we can reset the Wi-Fi settings and we can switch channel. The channel is switched successfully. Please reconnect on oh, Wi-Fi spot. Darn. Right, so the other thing to test is if I turn out the light we're going to do a grayer scale here. Um, it is much darker doesn't look too bad actually through the viewfinder but on the screen it does seem to be quite dull uh, I can't see a way to turn on the light because obviously the, L oh, the LEDs are on right it's actually heating up a wee bit yeah it's getting quite warm I suppose the water or wherever <laughs> I'm going to be sticking it in uh, so that you can get some We'll record that and um, we can get some decent detail as we get up close uh, but obviously you need to be much much closer to harness the better light I can see the torch you can see a reflection just beside Jones there and I'm covering the O of the LEDs uh, you can out fine detail and things like that it isn't too bad you know that's given the size of the camera and the well, I would say the puny LEDs that are on it in order to keep the size of the camera down that doesn't do too badly and we can take pictures while we're examining the uh, 
dirt and dust. We were taken onto Sir Sean's face. You can make out a good bit of detail there. You can see some wrinkles on his forehead. Um, and then over here to detail on Mr. Skeleton's face. So it works quite well. Uh, and the focus does change quite sharply. But we come along this sword and try and get the end of the sword. Yeah, it ain't bad. Uh, the, the video quality for 20 quid is is pretty good. Um, what I will say is that we'll have to take some time to <laughs> even out the cable because you know it, it's flexible and it you can obviously put it like that if you need to look around a bend or something in a pipe that'll be very very handy and, and quite nice. Now attaching the extras to it we'll go with the hook just for the sake of the hook. Uh, I don't know how to do that. Does this come off? That does appear to come off. So there is a, a such a protective ring really and then we screw this on but then obviously the hook is in the way of the camera. Okay, we haven't screwed it the whole way on um, because I'm doing it with a bit of haste. I don't want to wreck the screw thread. So our video shows oh, the, uh, the hook is in the way of the camera. <laughs> Which is, I suppose, you can still see around it quite well. Fine, fine with that. I don't believe there's a microphone on here, so probably the sound you're hearing will be recorded through my uh, audio setup beside the camera, as opposed to what's on, the, on on this. It would be quite funny if there was a microphone there, so you could hear the gurglings down there, or the, the alligators growling. Do alligators growl? Let me know in the comments box down below if I'm alligators growl. So, I'm also going to test the periscope. I'm not really, well, the, the, magnet, the magnet would be important to have a look at because yeah, it it sits right in the middle of the, the screen. It's, well, obviously it's a magnet, so you can't really get transparent magnets uh, that I'm aware of, but it's, but it's possible you might. Um, it's not bang center which is kind of funky. Uh, as I twirl it, it stays under. <laughs> it's just me having a bit of fun there. Right, uh, periscope. Right, I used the SIM card ejector tool to remove the blue stuff. And there it's on. And we can still see it doesn't quite hang on. There we go, we're recording now. It doesn't quite cover the entire camera, but you can still get an idea. You can see a little bit um well you can see a majority, but you can see a little bit of the original feed, so I guess you have an idea of where you're going. Over to the right hand side you can see the skeleton where the camera is actually pointing, but it's giving us a a 90 degree angle of the Aston Martin and uh, the closer we get the more we can see so yeah that might be a bit confusing whenever you're down in the depths of the plumbing system that you might hook this up to um, also you're not exactly going to know which way perhaps the right angle is pointing at the time whenever you put it down. So if I was to turn it around like this, um, it's it's 180 degrees and it's showing up pictures of the audio setup and me and the lights and things. So yeah. So I'll reattach the little ring to it and I'm going to go and um, have a look down a few things around the house, a few 
holes to see what's in there. You never know, you might be able to spot some buried treasure. Um, it's a, a sh shame there's no, the lights here aren't aren't night based LEDs, you know, they don't switch over and, and give you night vision under there. That, that would be great. But, uh, oh yes, what does this do? Doesn't seem to do too much to the actual video picture, so we'll we'll have a look in the manual and see what it says. LED brightness controller. Ha 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 ha! Right. Okay. So we've turned that down. Um, ah, it gets very bright. Okay. So it must have been halfway done. So that is much brighter, and you can see. Um, and then we can adjust it. <laughs> Excuse me, you're probably being sick with all this. So, if I was to point it at the Aston Martin, which looks a bit dirty because it is about 30 years old, we turn it down, 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 down. It's a well, turning up a bit slower there. It does tend to, there is a, a big step at one point uh, just before the end, whenever it gets the full brightness. There you go, that's a tiny amount that I've just adjusted it and yeah, it jumps quite considerably in in one small movement, whereas there's a, a large amount of movement. So it, it's a very, very sensitive control method that it has there, but uh, yeah. This unit has heated up quite a bit. Uh, it's, it's particularly warm around here. Uh, but I, I don't see any indication of battery. You know, it's not telling me how much battery power is left. Which would be nice to see. The, the app doesn't have too much in the way of options. Uh, there, there is something whitish up here in the corner, but whenever I, it, it quits the app and you have to go back in and start it. And then turn it round. Oh, that's it's pointing at the curtain on the window. There we go. That's the right way round. With some headphones and my computer screen over there. Uh, then we go in. We've got our gallery, so we can watch back some of the things we've recorded. So there isn't a, a terrible. quality lag or, or uh, lost FPS and the well, that's quite badly stretched and our only option in the gallery is to delete things Okay, right. Well, I'm busting to go and uh, stick this down some of my pipes. I'm not going to share that with you because that's a bit personal. It's a bit weird. Um, th there's other YouTube channels, I'm sure, that you can go to to, to see that if you need to. Uh, but so far, so good. Uh, for 20 quid, I'm really impressed with this. Um, and I think that this is an invalu invaluable thing for a household to have. I'm just noticing there's a, a reset button, I think. Is that? Yeah, it must be a reset button on the side. So in the event that it crashes or something or I don't know well you might need to reset it because it doesn't give you any options to be able to um, set up the Wi-Fi or anything right well I'll stick it on charge for a while and I'm gonna go and stick it on my plug hole ground uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments box down below <sighs> uh, don't give me any weird comments saying we want to see the footage of you sticking this up your back passage um, hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. Give us a wee thumbs up if you fancy. And remember to check out the Tech Addicts podcast on a Sunday afternoon. And it's downloadable now. Alongside Talk Sport on a Wednesday morning at half past midnight for Inspector Gadget. And other than that, take care.